Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Russ with RWResearch.com and yes, I'm wearing the exact same outfit. But uh, this is uh, the video for the Zero electric motorcycle. Uh, this is installment number seven, I do believe. And we're going to be looking at the wiring. We're going to wire it up just as basic as can be. Later I'm going to try to do some more with it and some more custom control stuff and all kinds of things. But for now, I just want to get it running so I can do some tests with the sprockets. That's the first goal of uh, my achievements here. I want to see how fast it goes and a few other things. So enjoy this video and uh, we'll talk to you later. I'm doing all the intros at the same time. That's why I got the same outfit on. Because <laughs> I forgot to record all my intros and my outros. Yeah, so I basically connected this thing as simply as possible. This is the simple schematic. This is the base, bare bones, no reverse, forward direction. And uh, we're going to test it out. First, I'm going to take a battery measurement just to make sure when I plug this Anderson connector in, it doesn't blow up. Looks like we got positive on positive, negative on negative. Um, key switch is off. So the only thing I can really do is plug it in. There is a fuse in the heavy duty line inside the battery. So here we go. No sparks, no arcs, no noises. That's good. Pop. Okay. off to a good start. Uh, the indicator light should be off. I think it is off. Yeah, it's off. So, I have the kill switch, which I believe right now is on. The only thing we got left is the key. Let's see what happens. Yay! It's alive! Green light, solid. I heard the solenoid kick on. I'm going to stick these, maybe, in here, get a battery reading, if it'll stay. Yeah, I don't really trust that. The battery reading is 52.4 <clears throat> as we speak. So the only next thing to do is give us some throttle. There we go. It works! I kind of hold this thing. Well, there you go. The only thing I need to do is there's a spot down here, which I'll show you, where the chain is trying to rub. Whoops, where the chain's trying to rub one of these brackets, which is the tensioner bracket. So I'll show you there. Right there. 
right there. That's overkill. Anyway, right there it's trying to rub. So I'm going to take this off. That's what you hear grinding. I'm going to take this off and we'll just cut that corner down and cut that washer down or maybe put a smaller washer on it. <clears throat> as far as I can tell, the chain's not going to hit anywhere else, but it is hitting there. So we'll take care of that real quick. That's better. Now we got plenty of clearance. Now it's time to go uh, fire this bad boy up again. I'm going to put you down here. So you can see the chain. That might work, huh? Actually, that's not bad at all. It's, uh, throttle seems a little touchy. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna see if the kill switch works. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, here we go with a little throttle. Oh, that's quieter now. I'm gonna hold the brake and throttle it. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of torque. <laughs> plenty of torque. I'm going for. I'm not going for uh, crazy here. I'm going to try to make some uh, some efficiency out of this thing, you know. I'm not sure why, but this sprocket was already wobbly when I was starting. Not sure why that's uh, not on there very well, but uh, yeah, that's a concern that I have to figure out or see if it's really a problem. You can see it's a little wobbly. It's not too bad, but it's enough. I gave it a little yank on the throttle and that son of a gun took off. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's uh, check our battery voltage real quick. I'm kind of curious if it did any damage. Probably not. Yeah, point one of a volt. So, uh, I say very, very successful. Buddy. Vadi successful. I'm ready for my first test. Funny thing is, is it freaking rained today. Wouldn't you believe it? Yeah, it rained today. I don't have my hat. I don't know what my hat is. I've just been going at this project non-stop for a long time. gonna have some speed out of that sucker wow I mean it's it's uh, it's cranking I'm afraid it's gonna fall off here if I'm not careful That's probably gonna wake up some children. A lot of, a lot of throwing of the oil. I knew that would happen. All the oil, the new oil on the chains being thrown everywhere, all over the garage store. <laughs> I figured that would happen. Looks like there's a few flakes of this UHMW down here on the edge of my uh, master link. The master link sticks out just a little bit further than everything else. So I figured that might be a problem as well. All right, well, to be totally fair, this thing at maximum speed is a bit scary. 
the chain is really going around there fast, so yeah. Thumbs up for the fest first test though. That's exciting. And because I can't resist, I'm gonna set it on the ground and just give it a little in the garage. Nice. Not too much, not too little, it's just real smooth. Oh, dude, that's got plenty of torque still. This thing had more torque than you know what to do with. It's even better now. Brakes need a little work. Alright, one more. Here we go. Oh, this thing's sweet. I am ready to go out outside. And I can't because it's dark, cold, and rainy. So tomorrow it will be. This thing still doesn't have a kickstand. I found an old bike, bicycle. <clears throat> I took the uh, took the uh, stuff off of it. It still ain't there yet. All right. Well, she's ready for a test, and uh, I'm excited about that. Right now it's a uh, little after 9 on Thanksgiving Day and it's raining outside. Tough, tough, tough. All right, well, kind of short and sweet, but uh, it does run, it does work, and in the next video, we are going to be doing some more actual outside full run testing. I said more because this video I'm recording like way beyond time now. So anyway, yeah, so uh, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you think I should do to this. And there's still a lot more to do on the battery and the battery management and a few other things. But I don't have those parts yet. So when I get them, we'll do that. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.